The subject of BBC impartiality rules has sparked debate in recent weeks, and more backlash towards the news outlet has ensued following an article published about the 2023 Eurovision Song Contest. Readers have accused the BBC of breaching impartiality rules after music journalist Mark Savage published disparaging remarks about some of the contestants taking part in the major singing competition. On the BBC News website, Mark made predictions about where acts would finish in the annual competition. Commenting on Ireland's entry, Wild Youth, Mark wrote, the sort of music they put in banking commercials, a grasping, aspirational hymn to togetherness, with lyrics Coldplay would have rejected for being too twee. Wild Youth? They're about as rowdy and unpredictable as a face cloth. May Muller, 25, was selected to represent the UK in this year's competition with the catchy tune, I Wrote a Song. In a more complimentary analysis, Mark stated, May Muller isn't in danger of scoring the dreaded Newell points. I Wrote a Song is a frank and funny revenge track, bitter as a bag of lemons and catchier than the common cold. However, he added, it's probably too generic to top the leaderboard, but this camp disco banger is difficult to ignore. Mark went on to predict the UK would come in 8th place in the competition. The journalist was less diplomatic when commenting on Slovenia's Joker out. When it finishes, you will have no memory that it ever happened, was Mark's judgment of the rock band's song, Carpe Diem. Sharing his thoughts on his Twitter account, Mark received some backlash as fans accused him of not specifying between his own opinions and that of the BBC. Twitter user at a run just might responded with a gif reading, that was way harsh. Don't miss! Naga Manchetti demands answer the question in BBC Breakfast Clash, reaction, Lady C. Brands Harry and Meghan disgrace to humanity in Balcony Row, latest, EastEnders Stacey Slater makes risky decision to support Lily, spoiler, at a Margotta underscore to shared, I think a bit more respect could've been shown. Especially from the host broadcaster. Sick, at Giannis AFC commented, bashing some songs for their lyrics and then hailing Laureen's is very hypocritical. A true Pritchard fumed, hey Mark, just wondered if there was any discussion re impartiality, as this is your opinion, no balance, but isn't news, so maybe it doesn't need it? No clear disclosure that it's comment, and BBC as hosts this year. It's all quite a weird vibe to find on the news pages? Atel underscore Patriot underscore posted, I don't think you know what thrash metal is if you think that's what the German entry is. Why do you do this? At Jimmy underscore M underscore A underscore C underscore K asked, adding, the acts are going to see this and be offended and worried about the support they will get from the host broadcaster. Similar situation with the recent Eurovision cast episode. Ed Audrey Eager added, really unnecessary disparaging remarks about some of the artists. Disrespectful to any artist who puts themselves forward. Is this the official view of at Eurovision? A spokesperson told Express. Co.UK BBC News is completely editorially independent and not the voice of the BBC. The Eurovision Song Contest will air on BBC on May 13th.